Welcome back to the Pissed Up Ranch. This video, we're gonna do something completely different. We're gonna go up to the Willow Springs Carnival of Speed and Motorcycle Festival and see some really cool vintage classic motorcycles. Some guys actually know how to ride, unlike me, uh, where I just sort of pretend to. And uh, generally just have a, an interesting time exploring uh, Willow Springs, my first time up to the racetrack. And to be quite honest with you, I, I had a really good time and impressed. I, I think it's a neat facility. Willow Springs is a location, a track that I have heard a lot about over the years. And I've never been because it's two and a half hours from where I live. However, I quite enjoyed it. It's a pretty neat place. So the event we're here to, to see is the Carnival of Speed Classic Motorcycle what? Festival. The Tiger? There is, they've got a couple. Is your bike? Yeah. That's gorgeous. The 1170cc air cooler. That is yeah. gorgeous. You know, it's perfect. That's a, that to me that 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 ticks all my it's, boxes. It's enough that you know it'll get you going, but not not enough to blow your head off. <laughs> that, that's my speed. Just that's enough. my speed. That's yeah. my speed. Totally. No, that's I'm gorgeous. Get tire work is on the seat. Oh, absolutely. The same <laughs> it is open to just about any type of motorcycle you can think of. Uh, specifically says it's um, for uh, classics and customs. But pretty much uh, every motorcycle is uh, custom and every motorcycle is classic. Uh, it was an opportunity for people to get their beloved uh, two-wheeled uh, rides out on the racetrack and uh, have some fun. And I thought that was uh, it's pretty cool uh, that it's so broad and open to allow all sorts of uh, people from street legal uh, machines with their... Um, Lights taped off so they don't break on the and create a mess on the on yep. the racetrack. Two fully uh, hotted out, customed yep, out uh, 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 track monsters, uh, including a bunch of well, I don't know. I guess could best be described as at one time professional race Ah, uh, neat. Yeah, really isn't that pretty beautiful? Bikes, you know? The cafe racer thing was inspired by the grand uh, pre racing of the time, and the cafe racers inspired this modern sport bike. You know, adding on the fairings to the sport bike to the sportier bike, same with the seating position, and that became the dominant uh, bike they sold for a long, long time. And this is an opportunity for anyone to get out any vintage, any configuration, everything from. Uh, Jixers to uh, baggers. It was pretty cool. Um, a lot of Ducatis of various uh, vintages. Um, I know, uh, I suppose I'm a glutton for punishment, but uh, two makes that attract me the most are um, Ducatis and BMWs. And you notice that in this coverage since that's what you're going to see a lot of. Uh, but um, all makes, all types, fun, right? uh, I think, uh, were very well it's represented. It was a lot of fun watching everybody uh, just Feel gear up morning. and have a good time. It's funny, this one here idling, uh, you can uh, hear the uh, rattle and flush. You know, for the vintage Ducati, that, was, <laughs> that wasn't a bug, that was a feature. You can a duck by the sound uh, of the flush. A uh, really cool machine. So, uh, we start off, as you've noticed, walking yeah, around the pits and uh, checking out all the various different rides fun. that were available. Um, and, you know, talking about uh, what we knew about them and uh, reminiscing of, uh, you know, when, when this, some of the stuff was new because uh, some of our party were remembering. Um, uh, just a variety of oh, no. uh, classic Honda or anything to else. One decked out raced uh, to Kai. Hey. Uh, 
And if you didn't bring a bike for 25 bucks, I'm almost bucks, curious what you could uh, rent it's one it's supposed to be classic bikes, but I'm almost curious. This little uh, sectioned off area specifically for tech inspection. That's what we got. That's a Vincent Black Shadow. That is a whole I didn't get it. I, I, I don't know if I saw it go around the track, but it's a tech to go around the track. And then sitting next to it is this wild custom land speed, high speed, uh, yeah, it's three two triple strokes. engine, two stroke um, monstrosity. Sort of thing you'd expect yeah. to see on the yeah. dry lake, but. I wonder how many cases of beer went into uh, planning that. A Norton, the old classic. One of the fastest race bikes of the time. Classic chopper. I bet this thing would have been fun to watch go around the track. Uh, I did not. I do not know if I caught it. I don't think I did. I think we moved on by then. But this is an old school chopper. It's actually pretty cool. Think of this one. That's the, this, this is his motorcycle trailer as a sidecar for hauling his race motorcycle with his other motorcycle. He's got two wheel fever. Yeah, it's it's pretty intense. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, this is a really cool. Uh, based on a BMW R6 uh, from like the 50s and 60s. He actually swapped it around, the heads and the uh, cam, so that he could have the carburetor up front and the exhaust coming out the back. It's set up for uh, land speed racing. Really cool, that's a neat. What did it start off as? Uh, it was, uh, oh, everything was, everything was on the belly <laughs> down and all that, but, but I, I got So, 10 years ago, I was lamenting with a co-worker my, uh, in a, my ability to purchase project cars, but my inability to afford to work on them. And he pointed out to me that the um, motorcycle is significantly less, like between 10 and, 50, and 20 percent uh, as expensive as working on a uh, car. So it, it sparked my curiosity, and then he also showed me um, Cafe Racers. Because up to that point, I was pretty ignorant on motorcycles, and most of my um, uh, exposure to custom motorcycles were choppers. Uh, but then he showed me the Cafe Racer, and I don't know, that really uh, struck a bell with me, so I really dug it. Now at one point, of course, BMW was uh, actively really trying to push the race thing, and they created the no uh, um, R90, and this is what this is, it's an R90 now. Uh, this person has uh, further modified it, uh, it was a factory cafe racer, uh, and they went ahead and uh, pulled their box off to put our velocity stacks on it and a few other things, and um, yeah. Um, I'm unnaturally attracted to uh, BMWs and Ducatis. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm a masochist or uh, just because I think yeah, they're pretty dang cool. Here we are. Uh, they're associated with the show is the swap meet. And at the swap meet, actually, um, you know, most of the swap meets we go to, there is a disproportionate amount of knickknacks and toys and so forth. And at this swap meet, there's only one or two uh, booths with knickknacks and toys. Most everything was motorcycle and motorcycle related. Most of it vintage motorcycle stuff. So, 
you know what you're looking for there was a lot of good stuff here and i think the prices seem most of the vendors prices seem to be pretty reasonable um well, there was a lot of joking about uh, if we brought a trailer with us uh, some more junk would be coming home with me but fortunately we didn't bring a trailer And of course, the main event or the main uh, interest here was to be able to take all of this really cool, interesting, and eclectic uh, bikes out on an actual legitimate racetrack and have some fun. Um, I didn't look deep enough into it to be able to say this for sure, but it is my understanding that this uh, was uh, qualifying heats for um, the race on Sunday. And, eh, you know the different people going around at different paces bit depending upon both the skill and comfort yeah. level as well as how good their machine is Couple you know uh, so you got a really cool uh, old bike but you happen to have a not so cool uh, old tire so you're not going to be pushing well, yeah, it too hard in, in the, the turns the quote -quote however some people kind of had uh, well, proper vintage series, um, uh, 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 race machines and well, outfitted well, them really with proper vintage uh, proper modern uh, sport bike tires and uh, really really leaned into them and really really used them like uh, uh, in anger and it was really I don't know this, this whole event was right up my speed uh, it's probably something that maybe I'll try and do if, if I ever finish my project bike um, but given its weight and everything else it's doubtful that I'll, I'll actually do it however it would be neat to uh, go up there and do this um, sometime. On the rest of the facilities here at Willow Springs, that wasn't the only thing going on. They have uh, seven tracks, and I think five of them had things going on at, including. Uh, this one here, which is the streets of uh, Willow Springs, which is a considerably more technical. And um, it was designed later, so there's, there's cutouts and different, they can change different uh, lengths and so forth to create uh, dramatically different tracks if they want it. Here is just a regular old track day for anyone who happens to fancy themselves uh, as a performance motorcycle rider. And here is a lot of very contemporary sport bikes. Uh, being helmed by people who are a heck of a lot better than I am at riding and someday I actually do want to have kind of a little track bike to come up and do something like this if nothing else to get better at doing it. And also going on uh, a couple different uh, uh, drift tracks or tracks available for drifters to come up and play with their stuff on. And this uh, young man was having a hoot with his uh, drift missile, a 240SX, um, turbocharged version of its uh, original engine. Stuff like that. Uh, and we thought we'd stop by and stick our head in and see how uh, he was doing. And you know, he's having a good old time. Um, you know, the key to uh, racing around and, and actually getting good at any sort of driving is to do it. And drifting being such an incredibly technical um uh, driving uh, 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 arena, it requires a lot more skill than, than even uh, some forms of sport car driving. And also going on is this little kart track on the property and someone doing a test of tune with their uh, go-kart. Uh, a few people down here taking turns, going around, doing hot laps to see uh, what... Uh, uh, you know, get some seat time and uh, tune on their turn on tune on their uh, uh, go kart. I know motorsport parks are a thing, um, are becoming increasingly a thing around the country. Um, now, Willow Springs doesn't refer to itself as that; they refer to it themselves as Willow Springs International um, Speedway or Racetrack. But it's. I don't know if it was the prototype for the modern um, motorsport park, but it certainly uh, exemplifies it, uh, even though uh, many parts of it are considerably older than, um, than uh, most uh, modern tracks around. Uh, some of the facilities are a little dated, but I, I was really impressed with it, and I thought everything was in good repair and a great place to go. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed that time up at Willow Springs with us. Uh, we really had a good time uh, checking out all the variety of different bikes. Uh, a lot of uh, vintage, a lot of classic, and uh, plenty of mo modern hardware. Uh, watching the people on the standard track day doing um, actual motorcycle stuff, that was damned impressive. Almost inspires me to jump back on my proje project motorcycle and make some headway on it. If you think I should, leave a comment down below, let me know, and uh, thanks for watching. And if you want to support us here at the Pit Stop Ranch, if you would, hit the like button. And, of course, uh, always, uh, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Appreciate it very much. Have a two-wheel-tastic day.